Well, I am delighted to be here with all of our friends, uh, many of whom have worked for years on this issue. And Nancy, thank you, and Social Security Works uh, for all you have done. Here is the bottom line. The bottom line is that amidst massive income and wealth inequality, when the middle class is shrinking, when we got 43 million people living in poverty, when the top one-tenth of 1% 1 now owns almost as much wealth as the bottom 90%, when half of older workers, this the American people don't get, half of older workers, do you know how much money they have in the bank as they prepare for retirement? Anyone know? Zero. You are 58 years of age. You've worked your whole life, and you got nothing in the bank as you prepare for retirement. And then you turn on television and you hear our Republican friends talking about how they really want to save Social Security. This is Orwellian language to cut Social Security, to cut benefits through a chain CPI, to lift the retirement age, or whatever. They want to cut Social Security. And then they go on and they say, which is another lie, is they say, well, look, of course we have to cut Social Security because we have a $19 trillion debt. We got to cut Social Security. But everybody in this room knows that Social Security hasn't added a nickel to the debt. It's tax breaks for billionaires and the war in Iraq and an inflated military budget. That, in fact, led to the high deficits and the national debt. Social Security hasn't added a nickel to the national debt. And then they say the only solution is to cut in one way or another. And that is also a profound lie. And as Nancy mentioned, Peter DeFazio has been a champion on this for his entire career, and I are introducing legislation today. Legislation that is supported by 51% of Republicans, overwhelming majority of Democrats, 71% of the American people. And you know what it says? We're going to lift the cap. <laughs> and starting at 250,000 and going up, the top 1.5% will be paying more in taxes. And at a time of massive income inequality, that is appropriate. And what will we do with that additional revenue? We are going to extend the life of Social Security for 61 years. How's that? And we are going to increase, expand benefits, not cut them. Under this legislation, seniors making less than 16000 a year will see their benefits go up by about $1,300 every year. In Washington, that's <laughs> this is sensible legislation. This is legislation supported by the overwhelming majority of the American people. Do not allow Republicans to lie. Social Security is not going broke. We do not have to cut benefits. We can expand benefits. We can extend the life of Social Security if we have the guts to tell the millionaires and billionaires, yes, they're going to have to pay a bit more in taxes. Thank you all very much.